Well, hello, 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 everyone. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Look at me checking my phone. Sorry about that, y'all. Welcome to my channel, Pussy Power. The power of the pussy, the power of the punani, ladies. Know what you're sitting on. You're sitting on a treasure. You're sitting on a portal, you know. Um, listen to what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You are the connection between the spiritual realm and the physical realm. Nothing can enter into the physical realm unless it has your permission, which means it has to come through you. Souls. Only things with souls, things that don't have a soul that can be developed into in a lab or in a cave. You figure deal me? Okay. So uh, there has to be an attachment to the divine feminine, which is an attachment to you in order to be into this realm. You know? Um, so know the power that you possess. You know what I'm saying? Know thyself. Know thyself. Know thyself. I want to thank you guys for joining me and welcome you guys to What's the Word. What's the Word is where we um, pull three letters. It can be three consonants or three vowels or it can actually sum up to a word. But whatever that uh, those three letters are, we're going to go to our resources like a dictionary, a thesaurus or something and we're going to look it up. And then we're going to bring it back and we're going to compare definitions and then we're going to put some tarot on it. And tarot is going to tell us the T of why this word is floating around in my divine feminine's energy. And the divine feminine that we're working with today is the Gemini. Okay? So Gemini, we're going to see what word is floating around in your energy and why. Okay? All right? See, the, the English language is very cryptic. It's very occultic. It's the language of the fallen angels, so it's very manipulative, okay? That's why one word has several meanings, you know? And you have to be able to decipher that. And we have this ability, ladies, to tap into this uh, frequency where we can decipher and reveal things that are hidden right in front of our face. We just have to tap into that vibration, okay? We have to know that we're able to tap into that vibration, okay? See, when we were conquered, we were forced to live the lifestyle of the conqueror, which means that we had to leave all of our traditions and customs behind and live as they live. I mean, we ate their foods, um, we worshiped their gods, we spoke their language, you know, um, and we left everything behind, you know, and... Um, it's not enough to understand the word. You have to understand and overstand the word because the language is English. It's very cryptic. It's the language of the fallen angels. So you know it's very manipulative. You know? Um, our language consisted of vowels and symbolism. And we've been living the way of the conqueror so long. See, vowels were interjected into our language because the conqueror couldn't speak our language. So they had to interject the vowels in order to speak our language because their tongues are so different than ours. Okay? And so now that we've been living as them for so long, when we don't see vowels, we don't think that it can actually be a word. And we don't even look at symbolism anymore. And the powers that be know this. So they use symbolism. And they use uh, consonants to hide things from us in a matrix. That's kind of ironic, isn't it? That they use the formation of our old language to hide things from us because we've been so far away from it for so long. But I'm trying to bring us back, okay? That's why I do these exercises on this channel. A lot of word magic because I want to strengthen the third eye. Enhance the third eye of the feminine so that she can see what's hidden right in front of her face, okay? I'm taking you back to the past. See, you got to go back to the past in order to get further in the future. You know what I'm saying? Go back to your old traditions and customs because they like, oh, that's old school. Old school is, is, is the best school. Trust and believe, okay? This new wave stuff, it gets you caught up. That's this mind, this programming is brainwashing. You know what I'm saying? So go back to the past to navigate accordingly in this matrix so you can have one leg up. Okay? All right. Let's pull some letters. And let's see what uh, word is floating around in my Gemini's energy, my divine feminine. All right? Y'all doing good out there? I hope you hope so. I hope everybody's peaceful and calm. 
you're not allowing anyone to disturb that. I hope so. I hope so because they will try to disturb it, okay? You got to fight for your right to be peaceful. Ain't that something, y'all? Ain't that crazy, you know? The first letter that I got for my Gemini is a B. The second letter for my Gemini is an L. And the third letter for my Gemini is an E. So we got B, L, E. Hmm, interesting, okay. All right, what's the word? The word today is BLE, guys, okay. All right, this is the part of the video where we pause it and we allow everybody to go get their resources, go get your dictionaries, your thesaurus. You can use the Google, Google app or the Wikipedia, whatever you use for word etymologies to look up words to gain knowledge. Go and get that and look up BLE, okay? Um, if anybody knows what BLE means before we look it up, please, please, please put it in the comments, guys, because I love to see that because it lets me know that our third eye is being enhanced if we're able to see these things without having to look it up. Okay, so do that for me and, you know, brings me joy. Okay, other than that, guys, the word today is BLE. Go get what you need to look it up and uh, let's come back and compare definitions. Okay, what's the word? The word today is BLE. Okay, guys, let's look it up. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back. We are back, guys. Did you look up BLE? I hope you did, guys, to get this exercise. Remember, this is exercise meant to strengthen the third eye. So please do these exercises. It's very beneficial, you know. And then it also puts it into your subconscious. You know what I'm saying? That you, when you see BLE, you know what's going on out here. So it's beneficial for you guys, okay? All right, BLE, the first definition that I came to was Bluetooth low energy, okay? Now, this is used for to access control and door entry, blood pressure monitors, smart watches, you know, wearables and stuff like that, transportation apps and stuff like that. You know, it's just like Bluetooth. You know what I'm saying? You know, but it's low energy technology. You know what I'm saying? It's used for novel applications. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what it's used for. Okay. Um... In slang, uh, BLE means cash. It means dough. That guap, you know what I'm saying? That's what it means in slang. Um, let's keep going. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, it uh, can also mean bilateral lower extremity. Okay. Um, uh, this is in or on both legs, okay? They were bilateral lower extremities, okay? All right, what else? What else? Mm. BLE also means a uh, heartless hate. Um... It means um, thugging, a slut. Um, I mean, it means it means it's it's crazy, you know. Um, uh, it means big load in energy, um, just the same as big dick energy. That's the same, okay. Um, but for people with uh, you know average penis size. You know what I'm saying? Um, that have big loads. You know what I'm saying? And so I, that's why I didn't say BD energy is BL energy. So this is people who have an average size penis, but they have a load. This is somebody that has probably hasn't had sex in a while, and they have to need to unload badly. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, uh, this is um, I want to say blue balls. I know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? It also means like blue balls, means you're feeling, um, uh, <laughs> um, you need to let it loose a load, okay? So this BLE could also mean blue balls, 
<laughs> Big load energy. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. All right. Uh, so we got blue balls. Um, um, it also means blee. B-L-E-E -E means sexual anxiety. Um, it means uh, remorse, anticipation. Um, it also means extreme stomach gas. Okay, so this particular person could have blue balls, uh, have an average size penis, but needs to unload, big load energy. You know what I'm saying? This particular person has sexual anxiety. He has remorse, anticipation, and has extreme um, stomach gas. I mean, he got it going on, don't he? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so it can mean bilateral um, extremity. Um, or oh, it means, um, um, uh, the Bluetooth, uh, lower energy. Okay. All right, guys. Those are the meanings for BLE. Um, if, um, I missed any definition that you should think that I should have drawn some attention to. Please leave it in the comments, guys. Uh, but I looked pretty thoroughly, and um, I hope I didn't. But if I did, please leave it in the comments. I really didn't mean to. Okay? All right. Well, let's put some tarot on here, y'all. Let's put some tarot on here. And let's see the story. <laughs> I'm interested now. <laughs> You know, in this story behind BLE. Wow, that means sexual anxiety, anticipation. Um, <laughs> somebody got blue balls. Somebody need to let off a big load. He don't have no big penis. He got every size, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's going down, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, Taro, tell us the story, girl, because we is interested. Tell me the story. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, y'all. All right. Come on, Taro, break it down. Tell us what's going on. All right, what is the story? And why is BLE and my divine feminist energy, my Gemini? What's going on? What is going on? What's going on? See me what's going on. What we got out here so far? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right y'all all right i'm seeing what's going on out here i know if you are readers or uh, connoisseurs of tarot and you see my cards you see what's going on out here you see what's going on here somebody is horny somebody is horny you know what i'm saying and they hope that this will work they hope that something will work okay um Somebody is out there doing spell work because they want you to uh, this particular person is um this particular person is interested in the high priestess, okay? He's interested in the high priestess. This person um is sleeping with, I wanna say, probably three women. He's not interested in them. You know, uh, he's uh, not interested in them. He has his focus on you, 
divine feminine okay this is an immature person you know what i'm saying that's doing all type of stuff behind the scenes and this is the type of person that wants to throw the rock and hide his hands okay this person is, is in fear that he's not going to be with you or reconcile with you okay this particular person is mad at you uh high priestess because um you won't um he's thinking about uh What's between your legs? That's what he's thinking about, okay? He's thinking about the punani, okay? Um, even though he has these women, all these women, um, they don't compare to you. This is somebody you've been intimate with in the past, okay? This person is very immature. And because you won't sleep with this person, he's been attacking you, putting spiritual attacks on you. This person could be trolling you. This person could be gang stalking you. This person could be trying to get you in trouble with the law. This person could be trying to get you jumped by other women. Um, this person has been spreading rumors on you. This person has been trying to destroy your, your business. This person has been trying to ruin your reputation, you know, um, because this person is paranoid that you're not going to sleep with him, okay? Um, this person has been doing um, spell work on this high priestess okay all right and now he's paranoid uh that the spell work is not working okay because this high priestess won't sleep with him okay all right um this person has been putting a lot of time and energy and effort into doing this spell work to try to get this high priestess to sleep with him but she's not giving him anything you know, um, he's been doing love spill at the love spill and chaos spill at the chaos spill. I mean, he's been putting time and energy into this. You know what I'm saying? And he got somebody that's right beside him that's been loyal, helping him do the spell work on my divine feminine. Yeah, they've been doing spell work on your finances, okay? Been doing spell work on your finances. This is their strategy to get you to uh, sleep with them, okay? Because um, they are willing to pay you, actually, to sleep with them. They want it that bad. They want you so bad, it's ridiculous, you know? This person is going through this sexual anxiety here. You know what I'm saying? This person has got blue balls, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This person got a big load that he want to get off. Um, on the Divine Feminine. He wants you so bad. Even though there's a lot of women um, that he could be sleeping with, he stopped sleeping with them and he's want, he wants you. He wants to unload this energy on you. He got a big load that he needs to, you know what I'm saying, uh, get off on you. And he's been trying his best. This person is so freaking immature. It's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? He's been working hard trying to um, get you to sleep with him. I mean, so, so it, it's just ridiculous. This person, um, he can't sleep at night. You know what I'm saying? He's praying. You know what I'm saying? What is wrong with this fool? You know what I'm saying? He better go get something from them. But he want it from you because he wants you to come back to him. He wants you to come back to him so he can cause a tower in your life. This person is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, he wants you to give him what's between your legs. Okay, he wants to, you know, because he feels that if he can tap into your energy that he can manifest the Ten of Pentacles. You know, this is all about stability for this particular person. There ain't no love there or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he feels that he can be get some stability if he sleep with you because of the energy that you possess. Okay, you're a manifester. You're, you're a hell of a manifester. And he wants this energy. Okay, I mean, this particular person is crazy as hell. Okay, let's get some more energy out here, y'all. Let's get some more energy out here. And he's like, I got blue balls. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person is not sleeping with anybody because he's not interested. He's waiting on you. So he got a big old load to let off on you, honey. And he's been trying to do the spell work, but it's not working. It's not working at all. <laughs> This person is so immature, and he's like, I ain't do nothing. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. This is a high priestess, so she knows what you're doing. She's very intuitive. She knows what you're doing, and this person knows that she knows. This person is scared of her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
<laughs> so much passion out here. This is what this person does. This person is, that's all he about is having sex. That's all this person is about. Mm, I see 77 up here, which means prosperity and abundance and uh, riches. That's what's going on for you, uh, my divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your total wish fulfillment to this particular person. Your total wish fulfillment. That's why he don't. He's not thinking about those other females, but he's immature and he's attacking you because you're not thinking about him. That's not gonna make this high priestess know exactly what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? He's attacking you because he wants you to open up and receive him, receive this big load that he got to let out. This big load energy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, he got blue balls over there. Let him tell it. That's what blee means. <laughs> Sexual anxiety. I mean, he's anticipating. He's waiting. He has remorse um, and everything. I mean, he's just a bottle of nerves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he's paranoid and he's in fear of this high priestess because he knows that you know. Yeah, she know what you're doing. Yeah, you know, she knows what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's in fear that he's not going to get the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? He's in fear that he's not going to get the opportunity to sleep with you. Yeah, because you freed yourself from this person and you happy to. You leaping for joy because this person is a damn fool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he wants that opportunity to sleep with you. But you've changed. You have the courage to leave those toxic patterns and behavior behind. And you left this connection. You know, you're free from this particular person. Yeah. Mm hmm you ain't finna sleep with him. He horny too, girl. I mean, he horny. He want to get it. You hear what I'm saying? Big load energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at him, girl. He in his feelings. He in his feelings because you won't sleep with him. So what? Cry me a river, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This person is definitely in his shadow side. He in his feelings, girl. He is in his feelings. Boy, you got these women over here to sleep with, but it's not about that. It's about your energy. It's your manifestation energy. And these bitches he over here that want him to sleep with him, these got dead wounds. They just dead between their legs. You know what I'm saying? And he trying to get a charge from you. I mean, he putting so much time and energy into this spell work, spending money. This fool going broke trying to get you to want him. Girl, this boy is crazy. Do you hear what I'm saying? This person is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, look at him, because he wants your energy. He wants your energy. Yeah, he knows that you have been empowered and that you have this strength, and he wants to tap into that. That's why he's trying to get in between your legs, Divine Feminine. You have released this person. You surrendered to the universe, and you've purged this person out of your life. And he just needs to leave you alone. You don't want to be with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Up here attacking your finances with spell work <laughs> so that you can be in this lustful energy. And he was like, well, I'll give you what you want. You give me what I want. Boy, please. Boy, please. Divine Feminine knows how to survive. You know what I'm saying? She going to keep on robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know what I'm saying? Because it's getting paid. She ain't finna lure herself and sleep with you. I mean, this person is just terrible. He's an immature piece of dung. You know what I'm saying? Whew, girl, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this person that's doing chaos spells, putting confusion in your life. You know what I'm saying? So that you could be confused and, 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 and be under an illusion and sleep with him. Girl, he's crazy. You know what I'm saying? He wants this divine feminine so bad, but she don't want his ass. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all, you know, this is what I got for my Gemini. You know what I'm saying? I mean, BLE. He got blue balls over there, y'all. Big, um, big load energy. I mean, he needs to get off, and he want to get off on you bad. 
and he's doing all this chaos spells and love spells. Uh, he wants to mess with your finances so that he can come along and pay you, and you'll take you you'll take the money um, and open your legs to him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he in his feelings because he wants to he wants that power that you have. You know what I'm saying? And you freed yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you're his total wish fulfillment. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. You know what I'm saying? But this is a person that has issues, y'all. This is a person that he must don't know how to talk to women or something because he feels he has to do this spell work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, this person is um a hot mess. You know what I'm saying? He wants to give you money to sleep with him. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. You know what I'm saying? BLE. It means dough. It means cash also. You know what I'm saying? But this big load energy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know. Boy. Get on out of here. You know what I'm saying? Take your blue balls and unload on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Divine Feminine ain't trying to go there with you, bro. All right? All right, y'all. Well, this is what I have for what's the word for my Gemini. You got believe, which means sexual anxiety, big load energy, blue balls. He's trying to unload on you. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's not wanting these women that want him. You know what I'm saying? And he's doing spell work trying to get you, girl. Trying to unload on you. Trying to unload on you. Mm, mm, mm. You feel anybody could benefit from this, please share the consciousness, please share the awareness. I mean, they don't know our life, do they, Divine Feminine? Bitch, you don't know my life. You know what I'm saying? Look what we go through, man. You got somebody over there that, girl, he need to go and get him some business. You know what I'm saying? He better unload in a brown paper bag. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't happening over here. You know what I'm saying? Get on out of here, bruh. Get on out of here. <laughs> I love y'all. And I definitely will see you guys on the next What's the Word. Y'all be easy out there. Be good, okay? I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.